हे गाइज दिस इज सुभाषेष मिश्रा योर टेस्ट कोच टुडे वील लर्न अबाउट टेस्ट एनजी सो फर्स्ट थिंग वील अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज टेस्ट एनजी टेस्ट एनजी इज एन ऑटोमेशन टेस्टिंग फ्रेमवर्क इंस्पायर्ड फ्रॉम जे यूनिट एंड एन यूनिट इट हैज एडिशनल फंक्शनैलिटीज कंपेयर टू जे यूनिट एंड एन यूनिट एंड इट मेक्स मोर पावरफुल एंड इजियर टू यूज इन टेस्ट एनजी एन जी मीन्स नेक्स्ट जेनरेशन it is an open source and free tool test ng is designed to cover all the categories of testing like unit testing functional testing end to end testing regression testing integration testing etc test ng supports both android as well as ios applications using test ng you can generate a proper report and you can easily come to know how many test cases are passed failed and skipped you can execute the fail test cases so test ng is basically a java framework that can be used with selenium apm rest assure or api automation or any java framework that you are working on you can integrate test ng with that framework for example you are using selenium to automate your ui and you have written some code using java and selenium and execute your code using java main method you can only see the execution result but nowhere it will tell you these many test cases are failed or these many test cases are passed so selenium apm or rest assure are not going to tell you how many test cases are executed or passed or failed these things can be only possible when you will use test ng or j unit so using test ng you can convert your existing codes to test cases and there are many other feature and advantage of test ng we will look into them uh, first thing we will uh, try to understand what are the different features of test ng so the first thing we have is annotations test ng having multiple annotations so test ng annotation is a piece of code which is inserted inside a program or business logic used to control the flow of executions of test methods there are many annotations like before shoot after shoot before test after test before class after class before method after method before groups after groups so we'll go through all of these annotations in in our next session so for now let me just explain you what is before shoot before shoot annotated method will run before the execution of all the test methods in the shoot after shoot after shoot annotated method will run after the execution of all the test methods in the shoot so when we will do some practical examples you will able to understand these things in a better way so let's wait for the next session to understand these annotations Uh, now we'll talk about different features of uh, test ng so the second uh, feature we have is test ng support for data driven testing so you can use data provider annotations then test ng supports a number of parameters test ng gives the ability to produce html reports of execution it can run only the fail test cases while there is not a need to run the whole test suite in case of test failures test ng supports a variety of tools and plugins like eclipse maven jenkins etc test ng provides flexibility in test configurations test cases can be grouped and prioritized more easily test ng provides a powerful execution model like parallel testing is possible test ng provides default jdk functions for run time and logging there are no dependencies test ng provides dependent methods for application server testing let's see now how we can configure it in our project we'll see how to add maven dependency for test ng then we'll see how we can install test ng in our eclipse let's see from where we can download test ng you can go to google and you can go to mbn repository dot com 
and here you can search for testng i'll provide all these links click on this fast link so you don't need to uh, download the beta versions so download the full fetched version so let me click on this so here you can see the dependency you can copy this dependency okay let me copy this and go to eclipse and open your pom.xml file and inside dependencies you can add this once you have added this you can right click and maven then update project you need to click on the force update of snapshots and release and click on okay so it will update your maven project now let's see how we can add maven plugin in testng let's go to our chrome and what we will do we will go to testng.org so here click on the download this link click on download link so here you can see the maven dependency okay for maven the dependency is here now you can see eclipse plugin okay java 1.7 plus is required for running the test ng for eclipse plugin okay and now here you can see install from update site select help and install new software enter the update site url in work field so we'll copy this okay and what we'll do now we'll go to our eclipse in our eclipse let's go to the help and once you click on the help you can see install new software so you will see a new installation dialog window so click here in the add button so fill out the details so here you can fill test ng and here in the url you need to copy the url which we have copied already from here this only thing is here i am giving the exact version okay then click on add now click on this and click next so you are seeing it is getting installed now you can click on next now you need to accept the terms of the license agreement click on this then finish okay installing on a sense software for which authentication validity cannot be established continue with the installation install anyway so it is getting installed so restart your eclipse Finally, after the restart, verify if testng is installed successfully. To do that, what you can do, you can right click on your project and you can see testng option is showing here. So if it is showing here, testng is installed successfully. Now you can start writing your test cases using testng. Thank you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I will try to explain it. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.